Yo, yo, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? All right, so basically today what I want to do is go through and do a kind of quick tutorial video on how to actually go through and hide fi the Firefox tabs bar. So let me go ahead and pull up my Firefox here as an example. Uh, so basically I'm talking about hiding the bar that has these tabs. Uh, this can be useful if you have, for instance, a plugin like mine, which is like Tab Search and Manage, where we can basically go through and create new tabs through the UI itself, as well as uh, make and hide things accordingly. So um, uh, I'm going to go through and show you all how to go through and actually get that set up. So first things first, what we're going to do is actually uh, go to the URL and do about colon config and in fact I didn't do that perfectly well because I didn't clear out the uh, the URL before that I should have done control L but uh, C O N F I G so about colon config okay go here and then accept the risk and warning from there type in T O O L K I T dot uh, legacy uh, if I can spell correctly, uh, legacy user profile customization style sheets. You'll see that it's currently set to default as false, and we want to just double click on that to make it true. Okay. Uh, once we've done this, this is going to go through and basically enable the whole idea of legacy profile customization. So to do that, we need to then go through and modify our profile directory and add the respective uh, configurations to allow you to hide the uh, tab bar specifically. So what we can do to get to our profile is just go through and do about colon S-U-P-P-O-R-T support. Uh, and then from there, just click on the open directory button that uh, is where it says profile directory. Uh, once you've done that and gone through and opened up your profile directory, you can go through and then add a, specifically, and I thought I opened it up here. Oh, it is. It's opened up here. No, it's not. Where did it open up to? Uh, let me try that again. Let me click on the button to see if it will open it up this time. Open directory. There we go. Okay, now it opened up my profile directory, and so we can go through and then um, uh, add the inf necessary uh, folder information for this, okay? So basically what we need to do is go through and add a folder called Chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E, okay? Uh, basically, you know, I'm pretty sure you all know how to spell Chrome, but um, in this instance, what Chrome stands for is basically like uh, the the terminology in this instance is actually referencing the idea of like the aesthetics. The Chrome basically as a term can mean like the aesthetics of something. Um, anyway, so we're going to go through and create the folder. It's created here. So we're going to go through and enter it. And then from there, we need to go through and create a file uh, that's going to be called user um, uh, Chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E dot C-S-S, Chrome, user Chrome C-S-S. Okay. Uh, once we've done this, we can go through and open up the uh, the file, uh, and from there just add the necessary information. In fact, I'm going to go through and do uh, open up Atom so that I can zoom in the text here, and we're going to go through and then uh, add it that way instead, so that it can be a little bit more clear on what is being specifically added. Um, so I'm just going to go through here, zoom this in a little bit more. Uh, and then from there, we're just going to give a little comment here. So we'll just do stars here, dun -dun, and then says, uh, you know, hides the tab bar. Okay. And then from there, what we're going to just say is basically hashtag. Or, that's not hashtag. Uh, ha where's my hashtag? Oh my goodness. There it is. Hashtag. Okay. Uh, and then tabs, T A B S, capital T. T O L B A R tabs toolbar, uh, of course, um, you know brackets, and then from there, what we want to say is uh, V I S I B I L visibility colon uh, hidden or no collapse, excuse me, collapse, and then from there, what we're gonna say is exclamation mark uh, important. Okay, so tabs toolbar uh, visibility colon collapse exclamation mark important semicolon all that. Go ahead and just control S to save that. And then from there, you're going to go through and need to restart your, uh, your browser. So I'm just going to go ahead and close these tabs and then just do control. Well, I'm just doing, um, I'm going to open up my Firefox here 
and then go back to my profile that I was using. And from there, you'll see, aha, we no longer can see the tabs bar. Okay, and now I can just use my application that I have personally um, to manage my tabs uh, as I please rather than having to use or consume vertical space that, is, that isn't necessarily uh, needed to be consumed. Um, for my particular um, application, uh, um, it doesn't have the ability to pop out the tab to a new window manually, so I do use the key, uh, key shortcut uh, Control N, which will open up a new window. And so before you do Control N, you can do Control L to get the highlighted selected bar. So you know, you know, you can do Control L, Control C, and then Control N, and then Control L, Control V to enter your you know URL if you wanted to put it up into a new window and some people may think that it's a little extra to do so but I find myself rarely actually pulling windows to a new window um, and so I'm pretty much okay with doing it the way that I've been doing it for that um, anyway I just want to go through and kind of just do this tutorial video to show you all how to be able to kind of get some extra vertical real estate real estate space thank you very much for watching please rate subscribe tell me what you think and I will talk to you all later